Okay, we're back into the Wii with the SD card into the Wii. We're gonna go to the homebrew channel. Start it up. When we're in the homebrew channel, you're gonna want to hit the home button, which is right there. Go down to launch boot me. If the screen gets all fucked up here, that's totally normal. Just uh, yeah, sit tight. If it freezes, that's totally normal too. Just uh, turn off your Wii, restart it, and do this again. Okay, so this is going to come up here. You're going to want to go to the left. And you're going to want to hit, do not reload. All the way to the left. Do not reload iOS. Hit A. Want to hit A again. Want installation. Uh, network installation, which one? It's just one to the right. And it's going to load up here. When this is done here, I'll be right back. See you in a bit. Okay, mine should be just about done soon. I had to do it again. Um, it said it, it worked or it didn't work or something, I don't know. But I, I hit A and it took me back to the home menu. So I went and I did it again. And uh, it worked this time. So if that happens to you, just feel free to do it again. When you're done, your screen should look just like this. It should, say, it should take about a minute or two. It should say finish installations. Please wait. And then it should tell you to hit A right at the end. Shouldn't take too long. Hit any button to restart. Okay. So when that's done, we're going to go back to the Wii, and I'll see you in a bit. Hey, sorry, um, back to the PC I meant, not back to the Wii. Okay, um, so we're back to the PC, put in your SD card, have your, uh, your SD card open up here. We're going to, we're going to delete everything from the SD card. So, highlight everything, delete. Yes, delete it all. So once that's done, you're going to want to take, you're going to want to go to your Wii files, open that up, and when it opens up, go to your new folder, and copy the whole contents right to the root of your SD card, where all this stuff used to be, okay? So I'm going to do that now. Open up the new folder, highlight everything, and I'm going to drag it right into uh, the SD card there. I wonder how long this is going to take. So this is going to take a few minutes. I'm sure it's not going to take 10 minutes, or 11 minutes, or 12 minutes. But um, as this is done, take out, uh, take out the SD card, put it back into the Wii, and I'll see you at the Wii in about... 20 minutes. Just kidding. We'll be there in a sec. Bye. Hey boys and girls, go back to your Wii now. Turn it on, put in the SD card, go to the homebrew channel. Boot it up. Boot it. Okay. And then you're going to want to go to App One Manager. Load that up. You're gonna hit A, you're gonna hit A, you're gonna hit A, and you're gonna hit A. You wanna do all that. Now, right there, it says the USB loader. You wanna hit A, you wanna hit A. It's gonna install it. It'll take two seconds. Ah. You wanna hit A. Okay, now you're gonna want to hit the uh, home button. And that's it. You're hacked, you're modded, you're ready to go. Um, launch boot me, we're gonna exit the system menu. I don't know if we have a. If that was the water, if that was. But, anyways, you're all done. That's it. 
pack cracked, you have the configurable USB loader here. I'm going to load it up on another Wii and I'm going to show you what that's all about in one second. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you uh, what your Wii could all do and stuff once it's all, once you figure stuff out and how to do certain things. Now that it's hacked, you can do stuff. Um, I just want to show you mine. I, uh, it's probably kind of hard to see, there's no light in here, but I, I cut it out and put a piece of plastic underneath so it's all kind of see-through. It's got a see-through top on it, but uh, we'll start it up. And I'll show you what you guys will be able to do soon. I got a matrix theme. Oops, I gotta sync the remote because so I just hacked a different Wii. So I'll do that right now. There we go. So everything's all matrixy and all that. This one's a little bit different. I got the homebrew channel still. This is what you guys will have. Um, I guess I better turn on the hard drive. So that's my external hard drive, which it hooks up into the back of the Wii. In the back of the Wii, when it sits, not like this, but when it sits the way the PS3 is right now, when it's like uh, flat on its belly, the bottom one is the one that will play your 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 games from the USB hard drive. It's got to be plugged into the bottom one. Or if you're looking at it this way, not this one over here, but it's that one in the back. Okay, so it's the bottom one, only the bottom one. The other one will not work. <clears throat> so I'll get the USB loader booted up here. Yours will be a little bit different than mine. I have my own custom background and my own custom song. And these are all the games. You guys will just have to go and get your own games and all that stuff. <clears throat> you can get custom Guitar Heroes for the Wii. It's awesome. It's out there. Custom Guitar Heroes. Shred Edition. Oh yeah, pretty cool stuff. Mm. All right, so just wanted to show you. Um, yeah, that's my Wii, and that's what you're gonna be able to do. And uh, hope this tutorial helped. Thanks. Bye.